Hi, my name is Maury Tran and I'm a top shelf financial model analyst. Today we are going to be talking about sensitivity analysis. So a sensitivity analysis is also known as a what if analysis and basically it's a technique in Excel used to determine how a different set of independent variables will affect a specific dependent variable for a particular set of assumptions. And that's a lot of words, but basically it is this great decision making tool that allows you to run different scenarios without having to change every single assumption in the model. Sensitivity analysis is used quite often in the business world, particularly with economists and financial analysts. So in this video, I am going to show you how to make a one variable data table using the what if function. Right now, I am in the senior living development model, which you can buy from the top shelf model website. But we are going to go to the assumptions tab here. And right now, the model has already come with a cap rate sensitivity table. And so the one variable that we are working with is the cap rate, and that's the one input here in blue. But you can see this sensitivity table shows you different exit values, the unlevered returns, the levered returns, and the investor returns all under the different cap rates here. So 6.25, 6, and 6.5. And so just for the ease of this video, I have already gone ahead and made kind of the bones of this sensitivity table we're going to be making. But right here is our input and it's 6.25 and I have gone ahead and made our cap rates in increments of half a percentage. So we start at 5.75, we go to 6.25 and then 6.75 and those are our increments. You can see how they're all formulaic. So minus 0.5 and then we're adding 0.5 here. So in order to make our cap rate table, we need to go ahead and link our table to the results that we want. So right now we have the exit value and I'm going to link this exit value, make sure this shows up here, and I'm going to link this exit value here to the assumptions tab, gross sale value, the exit value. We have the levered IRR, so I'm going to go to our monthly cash flow table here, link it to the levered IRR, we've got the net cash flows here, so we'll link that up. We've got the levered multiple linking that, and then we have the levered, levered peak equity, but right now it's negative in the model and I want it to show up as positive, so I've just added a little negative sign there, and there we go, that's what we want. So the most important part when creating a sensitivity table is that you have to create the sensitivity table on the same tab as your assumptions. And this just basically means that since we are using this cap right here, we're going to use the assumption that the whole entire table runs off of right here in D40. So all of our cash flows run off of this one cap rate cell. So I am going to link this cell to our input there. As long as you link it on the same tab that your assumption is on, then you're good. So for instance, I wouldn't be able to make this cap rate sensitivity table on the unit mix tab because the assumption for the cap rate isn't located there. So now that we've done that and linked it up, I'm going to go ahead and highlight our table. We don't need all these words here, they're just kind of for looks. So I'm going to highlight our table there, we're going to go to data at the top, what if analysis, and then we're going to go to data table. So right now, because our cap rates are in a row and not a column, we're only going to be worrying about the row input, but sometimes when you have more than one variable, you'll also have to worry about the column and row input, but right now, we're not going to worry about that. So the row input cell, and we're going to select what we're linked to, which is the cap rate here, select enter, and then it populates. So right now you can see that all of the numbers here are the same, and you're probably thinking like, wow, this table doesn't work. But actually, whenever you make a table, you just select F9 there, and it'll refresh it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you make a sensitivity analysis. And now you can see the levered IRRs at different our different cap rates, so at 5.75 it's 30.2, 6.25 is 26, and 6.75 is 22. And so that's all I have today about sensitivity analysis. Stay tuned for the next blog post or head over to our website at Top Shelf Models. And I can show you it here. This is what it looks like. You can look around, check out our custom model, model builder. You can, there you go, you can check out the blog see what's new on the website. So that's all I have for today, and I will see y'all next time.